Car thefts are on the rise. According to police in one local city, they doubled from last January at this time. But it's what drivers are doing that's making it easy for thieves to take advantage. Ten on your side's Brandy Cummings is live in Norfolk with more on this growing problem. Brandy? Yeah, Stephanie, police say that no part of the city of Norfolk is immune. They say vehicle thefts is a growing citywide problem, and it's one they say they want to stop because, in many cases, this crime can be prevented. How many times have you done it? Went into the store and left your doors open and keys inside? Daily, constantly, Why? all day long. It's not safe, but we all do it sometimes. You have to have that understanding that if you're going to leave your car running with the doors unlocked, you know, you're, you're going to be potentially one of the victims of these cars getting stolen. With just a few clicks here on the Norfolk Police Department website, we found 84 different reports of cars being stolen. Police telling us that many of it because people are simply leaving their keys in the ignition. All it takes is that split second for someone to go try your door. If the car is, the door is open, they're going to get in the car and they're going to take your car. Police say in January last year there were 36 vehicles stolen. This year, 72 in January alone. That's double during the same time last year. So police are now spreading a warning. Hi, I'm Roger Whitney with the Norfolk Police Department Crime Prevention Section. We saw this video just posted to Facebook today with tips you've probably heard before. Lock your vehicle. This crime map shows just how widespread of a problem this is. No area is immune. They're not walking around looking for specific neighborhoods, specific cars, specific colors of cars, specific models of cars. They're looking for any car that's running. Mark Youngblood admits that as a part delivery man, it's convenient to leave the key in place. I never lose those keys. They're right where I left them. He has a Dotson Jack Russell mix for a travel partner and guard dog, and even a GPS tracker on his truck, but admits the high numbers will change things. That concerns me. You know, um, this is probably, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start taking the keys out. Now, police did tell me today they've made some arrests and they've recovered some of the vehicles that have been stolen but have not been able to recover all of them. But they say that they want the citizens to take heed to this warning because stolen cars lead to other crimes. In some cases, thieves enter in police chases and even have wrecks in those vehicles belonging to others. For now, live in Norfolk, Brandy Cummings.